Today we're looking at a stock GT. Let's see if it can handle the hill and how it handles the heat. Now, I don't want to waste your time, so just to give it away, I'm not going to actually be able to finish the test. I can't make it up the hill, so I can't really tell you how hard it gets going up that same hill that all the other boards made it up. But if you want to watch me struggle, make it up that hill, then enjoy. All right, let's go down this. Let's hope that it works and that we don't get in trouble. So far, gradient tracking is doing its job. Yeah, without gradient tracking, I would be tail dragging all the way down this section here and then especially at the lower section. So down is good and then let's hope that I can make it back up because that's going to be the big question. Do I have enough torque to make it up or do I not? It gets a little steeper further down. I don't know if you can see that. The GoPro doesn't make it really visible. But um, yeah, now the steepest section is coming up. So approach it slowly. And it literally feels, handles the exact same way as the stock GTS. So there is no difference in terms of behavior on the downhill, which is nice. And uh, I'm not the heaviest rider, so that probably helps. But yeah, we'll see um, on the uphill. I'm sure there'll be quite a difference. I bet I'm gonna be maxing out the torque and getting the haptic buzz, which probably also doesn't help with motor temps. But, all right, where are we at? Diagnostics, controller temp 136, motor 122. All right, let's give the controller a quick break. Like before, I wanted it to be just under 110. All right, here we go, 109. Motor is at 124, but that should be fine. I literally just started, you can see here, uh, my current ride is 0.8 miles. Right? So that's just from my house to this spot right here. So this is not looking good. That was not a good start. See, I hope I don't need to bring a shovel and put some like starting mound here or something. That would suck. But this is not looking good. Whoa, I made it but we're buzzing. Let's see if I can. Oh my God, this is gonna be a, a buzzy ride all the way up. This isn't even the steepest section. Now, if you look at my nose clearance, I have plenty basically shows that my gradient tracking strength of four is more than necessary, but I need it for the downhill. So I, I wish they, I wish Future Motion would allow you to separate the gradient tracking for downhills and uphills and specify strength separately. Where are we on temperatures here? 165 controller temp, this is not looking good. But let's see what happens. Ah, all right. Well, temperatures 165 and 150. Should I try it one more time? I'll just try it one more time. There is this, by the way, right here is my emergency exit in case I can't make it up. 
I don't want to carry the board up. I can always get out through here. Oh, come on. Whew. All right, all right, all right. And uh, I know a lot of people always approach those steep sections with the advice of, oh, you just got to get momentum. Like, <laughs> momentum works on a short section. Momentum doesn't work on a long hill. But let's keep going here. Right. I think I'm, oh, here's the spot. I'm a little further. Damn it. Ah. Temperatures, where are we at? 47, 156. I think I'm just going to carry it anyway. Oh. I don't think I will be able to do the proper thermal test if I don't have enough torque to even make it up. I'd I will literally have to find a different hill to test the GT. Jesus. So this is what I was talking about, not being able to start on any kind of incline on boards prior to the GTS. I mean, that torque is just ridiculously weak. And I know from the VESC logs that you don't really need a lot of torque to start on these hills. So they seem to artificially limit it at the low speed, like below one mile an hour. And that's why you can't start. Because they definitely put out more torque later on when you're above one mile an hour. But they don't even give you that at low speed. Maybe it is to uh, prevent people burning their motor or controller by stalling it but it just doesn't make sense anyway now we're going again what no all right motor is at 160 controller at 140 let's see how far we get and uh by the way the uh the whole torque headroom thing, I love it. It's really a good indicator to tell you how close you are to nose diving at low speeds, exactly in these situations. But yeah, that is not very far. Shit. Oh man. All right, another attempt. It doesn't help that ground is a little slippery, sandy. 167 on the motor, so the motor is pretty close to overheating. So let's see how far we get this time. See my, here's my spot where I skidded out. Yep, made it past that. Uh, temperatures, 158, 167. Oh 
sure looks like I won't be able to make it to the top. I made it a little further this time. I guess maybe I, I now see why people say you need momentum. Because it does feel like with momentum you get a little further. And now I kind of understand the sentiment. Alright, let's get this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm a little further. Again, only made it like three feet further. I'm putting in all these holes in the sand. There's no way I'll make it up. Oh, I pressed the button again. Okay, I keep pressing the turning off the phone. So yeah, I can see now why the motor overheats before the controller because the controller keeps giving out whenever it gets hard. And then you're giving the controller basically all these brakes while the motor is still getting hotter. All right, I'll do one last attempt but I don't have too high of hopes, but, damn it. Come on. <sighs> Even turning around is hard, and this is a, Jeez. okay. This is what happens when you're used to having more torque and then you're just lacking the finesse to handle a board like this. All right, come on. Let's see here. How are we doing temperature-wise? I can't look right now. I need to focus on the trail. All right, here, boom. Past it, past it, past it, past it. Ah. Crap. All right. Diagnostics. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to need to take the emergency exit to get out of this trail I have for... <sighs> so... Bummer! It means the test is inconclusive. I can't even tell you what the motor temp would have been because I can't make it to the top and neither controller nor motor got to the point where they overheated because I kept uh, getting thrown off. And then not to mention this whole section that I skipped by carrying my board through. So uh, I need to find a different way to test the GT because right now I wouldn't know how to to do a fair apples to apples comparison. All right, steep section coming up. Whoa. All those holes I put in, making it a bit trickier. All right, I gotta take this exit now, get home. But temperatures, where we at? Motor still at 172, controller at 143. I assume the motor will be fine. Ooh. Keep getting these. I'm feeling some crunchiness. I think that's the, the hot motor and the hall sensors. Nah, it can't be the hall sensors. I don't know what it is. But the, I've heard people mention that above 170, the motor feels a bit weird. And I think I feel that. It's like, almost feels like a little bit of haptic buzz. But according to the torque indicator, I shouldn't have haptic. Ah. Well. I'm just going to upload this anyway and then 
try a different way to do the testing, but I still would like to see what happens if I actually reach overheating, but it sure does not feel right that they let you get the motor so hot, because obviously even at 170, the motor starts to suffer noticeably. Now, just like before on the GTS, there was no indication whatsoever in the app or from the board that my motor was overheating or close to overheating. So the user has no idea that that's what's happening and obviously would just keep riding until it really gets hot. And that's what's causing potential damage. And this is why on something like an MTE hub, when somebody adds Staterade or Armor Chillos, the magnets can come loose because the temperatures that they allow the motor to reach are just too high for it to be safe. And that's why on a vest where you can configure your motor temperatures to be in a more reasonable range, you don't have to worry about your Staterade melting your epoxy on your magnets. So, yeah, now it all makes sense. All right, I'm going to end it right here. I will need to repeat this on a more suitable hill, something that the GT can make up. It just means it will be further away from my house, which makes it less convenient. But we have plenty of hills to choose from here, so I will find something. See you guys.